is your coach recommending you for a volleyball position and you don't exactly know if that's the one you want to pick? Here are top three things you need to know before you pick your volleyball position. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball so much so my channel is filled with tips, tricks, hacks and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball. Today I want to talk about some things that you need to know especially before you pick your volleyball position or your coach is recommending a position for you. Let's get right into it. started playing volleyball I had a lot of conflicting feelings I was excited I was nervous I didn't know what was going on I didn't know how to play okay I knew nothing but one thing that I did know was I didn't know what I wanted to do I just so happened to be tall and could hit hard and the coach said middle that's that's what's for you I didn't know much about the volleyball positions I didn't know about rotation I didn't know about anything to be quite honest but I took that as Oh, she really thinks that I can do that. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That's the position for me. But I didn't investigate further to understand the other positions and how they might work out for me long term. When you're looking for your volleyball position, it's important to find something that you could do long term and that you're passionate about. I've seen so many players get stuck into a position that they no longer want to play anymore or a position that doesn't really work out for them in the long run. I think it's important to not only do a skill that you really like, a skill that you enjoy, but a skill that is going to be fun for you. And that's the reason why I recommend investigating a little further to understand the different volleyball positions before you pick the one that you want to do. So when you're thinking about picking your volleyball position, there are some things that you should consider and remember. Number one, think about long term. What's something that you think you'd be passionate about long term and something that you see yourself doing for years to come? Number two, what's going to give you the opportunity to have great playing time? One of the greatest ways to learn how to play volleyball is getting out on the court and making sure that you have enough playing time. If you don't get enough playing time, how will you grow? Number three, a position that you feel like really connects with you, but also something that can help you become a well-rounded player. I truly believe that every single volleyball player should become well-rounded. That means that you have to take the opportunity to make sure that you're not only ensuring that you're being, oh, I'm getting tongue-tied, you're making sure that you're not only going to learn that specific position, but you're also going to learn how to pass, how to set. I think those are extremely essential, especially as you go into college or you go into adult volleyball. Because you guys have seen me play adult volleyball in the past, and with adult volleyball, you really have to have a well-rounded skill set. So even if we did play a certain position when we were in middle school, high school, or later on, you still have to have a well-rounded skill set. That means that everybody kind of does every job. Everybody kind of does every job, and I want you to be able to be comfortable in that place and be able to do that well. When you're thinking about something you're passionate about, so many of you guys comment on my channel, you know you want to be a libero, you know you want to be a setter, you know you want to be an outside hitter, and I think that is wonderful. Really find somebody uh, that you can look at as a role model, somebody who stands out for you, that you're like, wow, I really like her volleyball journey, she really did great things, she really resonates with me as a role model, and I like seeing that. That can really help you stay the course and feel passionate and make sure that you don't come to a place where you feel like you want to give up. A role model is critical when you're choosing your position. It's always okay to talk to your coach and ask your coach about some tips that you think for choosing the position. I think that when a coach gives you a position that they think they'll be that you would be good at, they're looking at it from the outside in. So they're looking at it from the skill level, the physical level, and sometimes the mental capacity level. So when your coach says, hey, Kayla, I think you'll be really great as an outside, even though for you, you might not want to be an outside, you might be dreaming of being a libero or a setter, it's also important to listen to that opinion because it is a great opportunity for you to see the outside looking in and it may help you tap into your true skill set. Don't ever, never say never, but still use that opportunity. And if you feel like that position is something that's not really passionate for you and that's not something that you see yourself doing long term, advocate for yourself. That means go to the coach and sometimes, I understand sometimes that this may not work, especially if you're in a very rigorous or if you're on a club level that is very serious, but it's okay to try. A closed mouth never gets fed. 
It's okay to say, hey coach, thank you so much for considering me for the outside or for the right side position. I'm really proud of that you see that in me. I would really love if you could give me some feedback on why you chose that position. And then it's okay to express interest. Oh, though really, that's great. I'm really happy that you thought that of me. I was really thinking of myself in this capacity, and I wanted to know your opinions on how I could be able to fulfill that or possibly translate to that position later on. That shows initiative. I know that you guys have seen me say all the time, introduce yourself to the coach, introduce yourself to the coach. I'm not joking. Introduce yourself to the coach, but also advocate for yourself. Coaches love communication. So that way it lets them know that you are really serious about your volleyball journey and that you have a plan for yourself. I want you to have a plan for yourself and set goals for yourself, and this is one of the ways to do it. So when you're choosing your volleyball position, one more time to review it, choose something you're passionate about, advocate for yourself and talk to the coach, and look for a role model or mentor, somebody who you can really ask their opinion about what's going on in that position, because you may see it from the outside looking in, just like your coach is looking from the outside looking in, you may see it from another way, but we wanna make sure that you are really getting the full story, the full background, and it's something that you can grow to love or stay in love with. If you really like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I hope that this video helped you with your decision-making process just a little bit more. And um, I will see you guys next time.